we're going to talk a little bit about different classifications of numbers or categories or families of numbers. What I have on the board here are what we often think of as counting numbers. One, two, three, four. Those are called the natural numbers. I'm going to write that in black. The natural numbers. Um, and then again, you'll see this dot, dot, dot. That means going forever and ever. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. Now, if I add more numbers, I have what's called a different family or a different set of numbers. Like if I add a zero in here, just adding that zero is now called the whole numbers. If I have black only, that's the natural numbers. If I put in the zero, that includes, the, that, that's now called the whole numbers. Zero, one, two, three, four, and on and on and on and on and on. Those are called the whole numbers. I remember that because zero sometimes to me looks like a hole. It's like a hole in the ground. So when I'm adding the zero, it's like I'm adding a hole. I don't know if that helps you. Plus it's spelled differently, but anything that works, go with it. Okay, so I'm gonna add some more things and we're gonna talk even about a bigger set of numbers and that's called integers. And we're gonna be focusing on integers next. Integers is where I include not only positive numbers, but their additive inverses as well, otherwise known as negative numbers. So I'm gonna add over here now negative one and negative two and negative three and the dot, dot, dot moving to the left. And this is tricky. Dot, dot, dot to the left means these numbers get smaller and smaller and smaller. Remember, as I move to the left with numbers, that represents numbers getting smaller in value. So I could go all the way out, as far as you can imagine, into the negative zone. Um, and the, the group I've created now that includes all of these negatives, zero, and all of those positives is called the integers. I'm gonna draw those arrows to show it's both directions. All the positives and all the negatives are called integers. Now you'll notice I've left out decimals and fractions. Those are not integers. We're gonna deal with those another day. But um, this, I just wanted to kind of clarify what is an integer before we practice doing things like adding, subtracting, multiplying and dividing, and solving equations. And by two. I can't do this with you two laughing back there. Work it, work it. So if we had, no, that's not right. Three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> that should be... Less than. Yeah. yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of work. You're going to be bleh, starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, two fix. <laughs> <laughs>